children in peace, the God of justice that kills his enemy with the of the blood scourge.
Sent us on a mission into Ikenedu. Mm -hmm. A mission of salvation. A mission of mercy. A mission of deliverance. My fathers, I do not know how to say this, but I shall have to say it. My fellow doctor and I have tried our best. My fathers. The way you sound, you evidently have something terrible to tell us. Say it. Both of us here are men. And there is nothing the ear hears and begins to bleed. At worst, sorrow will bear children in our hearts. Huh? So speak out, my sons. It is terrible, my fathers. A mysterious disease of great evil. Western medicine is no match for it. As we speak, it is wiping out entire families without a trace. It cures. And it blackens the corpses. An evil disease indeed. Mom, are you saying it is beyond Western medicine? But you can do nothing. Papa, we went into a Kennedy fully equipped. We were prepared to find out whatever it was that was this people's ailment. What we beheld was not a disease. It was a curse. A curse? Yes, Papa. My fellow doctor here is an epidemiologist. The term might not mean anything to you, but he is an expert in widespread disease control. He will explain better. My father, I greet you once again. You're Thank welcome. You. you see, we run a series of tests on those victims. But what we found was no disease. Because diseases are caused by tiny living things which the eyes cannot see. They are called microbes. These things were absent on the victims we tested. It is no disease. It is death itself. The people of Kennedy themselves call it the Black Death. This name says it all. It is from the spirits. Only a spiritual solution can be sought. It is bad news, my sons. But we must thank you. You undertook this difficult task at our request. But 
we must tell you that we are not ignorant of that fact. At all. We are aware of that. We are always ready to do as you bid us, our fathers. Why else are we sons of the soul? Mm. Has the glass coach not paid the visit? Please don't. Stop. 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 It's all right. Stop. have ascertained that we are all ready for what we intend to do today. Now, let us begin. Hmm. My great grandfather, the great sorcerer and seer, no devia. O kamo, e kume kume. O kalama do kalamo, odonga. Had been consulted on this matter three black death seasons ago by the elders of. He can do. And his answer is your answer. Kalama, 
Adi jelo ribi de yeti ebe mango ribi to ne sili bango. Bana. Eh. Aba mbwa tole kwa bwa bwa tole kwa bwa uwe ka pe la ku. Bwa uwe ka pe la ku. Bani. Ya. Ogwe <laughs> Sibia, <laughs> Ayenu <laughs> Eu vou no capo. Quando a gueu usa, é menos de água. Ah, não é ninguém que ele mandou. Olha tudo que ele leva. A gente não luta nem na mão. Quando o jogo cansa ali, vem o amanhã. O balice. A de mão. Elders of our land, the black scourge afflicting our land today. Began so many years ago. Our father, Ikenedu, came from a lineage of seven great wrestlers. From the loins of the greatest of these wrestlers, Ikedia, came a champion wrestler, Oji. endowed with so much strength and agility. He was reputed to possess the combined strength of the seven ancestral pillar wrestlers of Ikenedu. Along with his young men, he went about Ulu and Ibo, defeating men, spirits and spirit men. He was called the one whose back touched no ground. He won gifts both for Ikeredu and for himself. His possessions grew and multiplied. He became so great, he began to win gifts of mountains, streams, 
farmlands, forests, and slaves. The Oji Mountain bears the name it bears today after its owner, the great wrestler. It was a gift from Ezra of Umunora. He won the Amajo Forest from the great wrestler king, Eze, as well one of the Ndike clans. The slaves and farmlands he won from the people of Ngedebe Kingdom in the Azwani Wrestling Festival made him easily the richest farmer in known history, even though he parted ways with the Ho at 16 years of age. Even Oji himself did not know the full extent of his farmland. The gods gave Oji practically all he needed, but denied him one thing. From his scores of wives and concubines, Oji had no child. It became clear that this was a deprivation from the gods to atone for all the other gifts he had in abundance, for it was said that no man could possess everything. With important elders of the land, he went to appeal to the mighty deity, Omaba, the god of children. It is me, Oji. I've come again to ask for a child. I came with a keg of palm wine. And this ram. And the horn. Omaba, if you bless me with a child, I'll bring more honor to you. denied all the children. He was on his sick bed when his most beloved wife, Arugu, began to show signs that the woman is with child. As she cried in the pains of childbirth, her husband, Oji, groaned in the throes of death. has gone to join his ancestors. And so, Mona 
Gollum came in as his father went out. There was a gift of the gods, and this was seen in everything he laid his hands upon. He took control of all the property his father owned. A tall, wiry young man, he became the farmer his father never was. Mona Gollum, the great farmer, was the controller of his father's great wealth. He knew whatever that was, where it was from the gigantic barns in his backyard to the last line of the Orgy Mountains in the forest. In that period, there was a king who the people called he who could do no wrong, the Eze. I don't know why. Here it is! Eke, Orie, Apo, Ikwo. Here it is! Amanda! The God of our ancestors and of our descendants. Here it is! We have come. Amanda, the God of fertility, the God of the coming and of the going, the God of the elderly and of the infants. We have come again as we celebrate the OG, your festival of honor. Bestow on us your gifts. Amanda! For their great festival, the Oji, as a Anowai staff got missing. The news soon spread like wildfire. The royal town crier went all over Ikenedu telling the people of the loss. Anyone who found the royal staff, he said, would be rewarded with whatever he wanted by he who could do no wrong. What are you telling me? That two of you with all my men in the five villages cannot find my staff? Why else are you in my service? To fail? <laughs> if by sundown tomorrow it is not presented to me, your heads will be separated from your bodies.
Ivy. Okay, me. Talk to me, my dear. What is you? What is the king staff? The king staff. Uh, he's missing. But how is he consigned to you? It is amazing, isn't it? I mean, the chief guard, the king's chief guard. I know you look upon each other with favorable eyes. What about me? Who lose his life? You will lose his life by sundown tomorrow. Yeah. If this time is not found. Hey! <laughs> Imagine what? The warriors couldn't even find the great staff. Hey, for how long have they been searching for that? I don't know. But they have been given two sunsets. Or else. Or else what will happen to them? Their heads will be separated from their bodies. What are you going to do? I can't man! What are you still doing there? Huh? Eh? The soup is already done here. You're still there. So. Elders of Ikenedu, if the staff is not found, a problem shall arise. Adam, there's something I must tell you. Your excitement knows no bound. Has anything happened? You're right, Tine. Adam! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Away, servants! Take your leave! I require solitude. Adam! Mm -hmm. go, go, go. Adam, I'm a little young one. You're young one. A day ago, listen very carefully. Hmm? This is what we shall do. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. The stamping of Doji is already at hand. But my heart is heavy. <sighs> Your Highness, we understand. Every one of us has turned his village upside down yes, yes, in search yes. of it. But I believe in due course, with Omaba on our side, mm. the staff will be found. Ikemba, uh. 
football in Kevin. Okay, you need to cook and clean, but I don't know. That is what you have to Good day, Your Highness. Ah, good day, Adam Madam. Good day, Elders. Ada, Ada, Ada. So, so, Yes, Adam Madam. That which you seek, I have found. That which I seek, Adam Madam. Yes, Father. Oh, speak to me so that I shall know what it is you mm -hmm. talk about. Your royal you staff. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Behind the royal back, please. Yes. Yes. Take us to where it is, so that I can see it with my own eyes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. 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 Staff have been reunited. Yes. Yes. You have done great in mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, It is great indeed. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me your request, and it is yours. Very well then. Uh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Father, may I request? Tell me, my child. I'm so ready yours. My request is the Oji stream. Huh? It is the royal bath place and deserves to be owned by the royal family. That is my request. Very well. I shall speak to Mona Golom on the matter. Thank you, Father. Shall we go? <laughs> So, that is why I have summoned you. It was Adego herself who found the staff. And that is what she has requested. I can no longer go back on my word. Especially now that it has been uttered before the elders of the land. Therefore, I ask you to look with favor upon my request. Your Highness, I have heard all you have said. But it will be difficult for me to give that property away. If you require time to turn it over in your mind, I shall grant that time unto you. Your Highness, it is bitter, but it has to be said. What I'm about to say now, is what I shall still have said after due thought will have 
That stream is an inheritance from Oje, my father. It is not I who acquired it myself, so I cannot give it away. Even to me, your king? My king, I told you it is bitter. Even the almighty God, Chuku, who examines the heart of men from the skies, can see the bitterness of this refusal in my heart. Your Highness, my hands are tied. You have spoken, Mona Gollum. You have spoken. Your Highness, I shall take my leave now. I understand. It is the planted season. May you live forever. It is true, Mom. It is true. But, would you understand? What else will I do, Father? Eh? What else? I have explained it all to him. That it is an inheritance, not an acquisition. He should understand that. <laughs> <laughs> My son, has it ever crossed your mind that of all the five villages, Isiokwe, Amokwe, Ota, Ubo, Water, that ours, Amokwe, is the most illustrious. Look at the vegetation. Lost vegetation. Our young men are very, very progressive. Look at the environment. Look, look. I have given some thought to that, Father. Good. I have given some thought. Good. Then that tells you that there's something wrong somewhere. A problem. And that problem is that he sees us as a threat. With this refusal, you've told him plainly that he cannot get whatever he wants in this kingdom. No. That is not good. It's not good. Be careful. Be careful. Very careful. I have had you, Father. Good. I have had you. Good. Is that what he said? Yes. yes. Is that what he said? Yes, yes Your yes. Highness. You may go. Now you have seen it. You have seen it. Have you not? My lord. <laughs> Who would have thought that the royal stream, when the royal household baths daily, does not and cannot belong to the royal household? <laughs> Quiet woman. Do not speak insolence unto me, Lolo Tamiri. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. It's your... So it is now insolence. Is it not? My lord, the truth is as bitter to your ears as the Onubo vegetable is to your mouth. But it has to be said. It has to be said. Otherwise, fulfill your words to your only child. Do you know, my love, that death is a visitor who pays his visit to every room without regards to class or character? Death is no respecter of persons. My lord, what are you saying? All I'm saying, my beloved, is that if you do not put your tongue back in your palate, death may deem it fit to pay a visit to the royal household of Ikenedo now. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> 
them back. <laughs> Elders of the villages. Your Highness. Your Highness. We all know why we are here this day. I have conferred with the oracle of Omaba Ebunu. I have been informed regarding the man that will stamp the Oji at the Omaba Shrine this year. We all know that in the order of rotation. It is the turn of Amokwe village, do we not? Oh, we know, Your Highness. Your Highness. we know. The Oracle has duly informed me that the man to stamp the OG this year is Mona Gollum. The son of OG, the son of Ikediane. That is what the Oracle spoke. Is that no way? You are about making a mistake. A mistake? Which Eze Ndeluma made many, many years ago concerning Ewa. Which required Mbante any rights to save this land. Do not question my authority on UK. Omabe Ebunu speaks to me and to no one else. Yes! Is that my wife? This thing you are about to do will find no favor with the gods or with the people. I, I, on UK, will not be part of it. This is insolence on UK. Here is Highness Drew. Before you erupt like the leader of a boiling pot, sit down and listen. No, Udawala. I listen no more. You have two ears. Listen for two. But don't come to tell me what you hear here. It's for your ears only. Are you okay? Are you okay? Leave him. Come back. Let him go. Let me. The son of Abazu, the son of Ungige, that speaks. Since my childhood, I've never heard of anyone who is not the oldest man in a village stamping your OG. Our people want to commit an abomination. They want to soil their hands with blood. Let heavens bear witness. Let the earth bear witness. Let the gods of our land bear witness that I, Onyuke, the head of Amoke village, on behalf of the community and myself, refuse to be part of this bloodletting. Hear me. Hear me, Omaba.
amazing and he kills it. You have refused to eat or drink anything. What? What else can I offer the honorable chief guardsman of the Asia Noir? It is a royal message. You cannot eat or drink anything. I understand, my friends. I understand. But I hope it is good. It is an honor, Mona Goro. You are aware that the OG festival will take place within a moon from today. I'm aware of that. You are also aware that the stamping of the OG in rotation among the five villages has come back to Amoko village this year. I'm also aware of that. We have been sent by Deze to tell you that he has been instructed by the oracle of Omaba Ibunu, the godhead of the elderly and the infant, that the stamping of Doji will be performed by you. By me? But it cannot be. It is a real honor, Mona Gorom. An honor you must appreciate. But my friends, I, I, I thought one will lose the... Keep quiet if you have nothing to say. It is the king's message. And that is what we have come to tell you. Is it I that stamps the OG? So that it is I who dies when Omoba comes to take he who stamped the OG, his symbol of greatness. Omoba! Take a name, get. I greet you. I have come to you. Omoba, the God of our elders and our children, to speak my mind. Omoba, if it is you that has put it forward this season, that it is I, Monagorum, of the lineage of the greatest men of strength in Udan, a land, that it is I who stand the OG, then I willingly go. But if it is not you, Omoba, if it is not you, then show it. Show it to the entire clan so that all will know that you are a righteous God. Omoba! I don't know what to make of it or name now. 
I'm dying slowly inside though. How can I face life without him? Do not say this to eh? me. Have you forgotten that Nani himself was born? Even after his father's death. Have you forgotten? And there's a good day. Cassava has soaked in the basket to something. Had been poured all over the stream, okay? all over the water, and all the banks. My cassava wasted. I don't know what to do. So, what did you do? I had to send the Nena to collect some cassava for supper for me with us. The baby's wife. The us knew I had cassava in the stream. So she asked Nina what has happened. Nina told her. The Kutos told Nina he tell. The Kutos told her he tell? Yes, Nina. The Kutos and Ogechi are slave girl. They had gone to the stream to fetch water. As they were about to leave, the other they arrived to take her back and asked them who owned the cassava. They told her and left. As they were leaving, we are coming. I will leave. Do you know that that thing you're thinking might not be what you think it is? With due respect, no, I disagree. Okay? Nobody comes to the, the stream to fetch shot and when I take over, so you know that Ekutos eh, was leaving as they were coming. They were leaving as we were coming. So nobody else was there. You're right. I have been trying to disbelieve that. The other day, I was greeting the Lord at the poor market. She ignored me. Eh? Now her daughter has done the same. No. We have done this to your family. No. Okay. Why did they treat us so? Okay. Only the elders have told me this thumping will take place by sundown tomorrow. It is I who will do this thumping. I also hope likewise. But I know it is coming to pass. It is coming to pass. No. How can I live without you? How can I? I will leave. No. Come, come. come. Do not cry, my beloved. Do not cry. But, you know, you. I what? Will die? He is to wear it in my memory. As soon as his arm is big enough. I know it will be a he. As surely as I know. The sun will rise by tomorrow morning. 
following day, one of them died in his sleep. Anguleka gave birth to a baby boy, a very strong boy. For three days and three nights, the people of Ikinebu waited with bathed breath. Mona Gollum did not die. On the third day, as is the custom, the naming ceremony of the child was celebrated.
We are gathered here today because of this child. I've already confessed with his father. And he has given me the rare opportunity to be the first to address this child by his name. Mama Gollum, father of child. Am I right? You are right, my father. Good. Therefore, I bear the first witness as the clouds of heaven and the dust upon the earth witness that this child shall be called Omud. <laughs> Receive your name. He said. Receive your name. He said. Receive your name. He said. It shall be well with you. He said. Father of child. A replica of the father. For someone to beget a child. Who can he get? Oh, the woman. Hey! 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 Hey!
Oh! <laughs> 